Our next speaker is the wife of Phil Moffitt, Christy Moffitt. Because the secretary went over, he will have six minutes, as will Ms. Holslaw. Then we'll be back on for five minutes for everybody else. So, uh, Ms. Moffitt, please come forward. And, and watch your time, please. <laughs> well, thank you all for having me this evening. I'm privileged to be here. I'm sorry Phil could not be here. Uh, we did the divide and conquer, and I won, and so I chose Spencer County. So, I do want to tell you that um, that the American dream is going away. You know that dream that we all had? The dream where we left our country in a better place for the next generation? Well, that dream is going away. That was the dream in which anyone, regardless of their financial background, could be whatever they wanted to be. If they would just work hard, if they would be financially responsible, and if they would have solid moral values. But that dream is fading, fading quickly. It is the dream that motivated us, that gave us hope, but if we lose this dream, we won't get it back. Under Phil and Mike's um, stead, it will be the leadership that will save our American dream in Kentucky. We can make Kentucky the best commonwealth that we can ever remember. Phil is a businessman. He is my sweet husband. He is a man of integrity. We have been married for 14 years this week. And we have four absolutely gorgeously beautiful adopted children. We are a committed and Christ-centered family. Phil's running mate is state representative, Mike Harmon, who represents Boyle counties in Washington County. And he is he brings to us the Frankfurt and insider knowledge that we need on the ticket. He is a financial conservative. He is a constitutional conservative, and he is a Christian conservative, as we are. Phil entered this race as a businessman, not a politician, because he loves the Commonwealth. He was sick and tired of lack of leadership, and so he stepped up to the plate. Our platform is very simple, but it is very dramatic. Stop spending money that we do not have. Stop putting our children into debt. Change the tax code. Change the laws. Then lower the taxes. This state needs better education. Phil Moffat is so passionate about education. He started a, uh, a school choice scholarships program to enable children who were not able to, as he was not able, to go to a school of their choice. And they have put over 3,000 kids through this program. When they come into the program, they are reading at 23%. After three years in a school of their choice, those kids have a chance. They are reading at 94% of their grade level. That is dramatic difference. The other piece of the platform is for state sovereignty. The opportunity to be able to say, no thank you, federal government. Kentucky can stand on its own. Our opponent is a ruling class politician that has voted dozens of times to raise your taxes. He advocates for a statewide smoking ban and taxes on sugary drinks and caffeinated drinks. He refuses to sign a no tax increase pledge because he can take your tax money and raise it anytime he wants. These are not conservative practices. Under his decade-long watch, the employee state pension plan went from a $5 million surplus to a $34 billion deficit. That is not acceptable. 
Our state bonded indebtedness has ballooned, it's gotten bigger from 3.4 million to 10 billion, 3.4 billion to 10 billion since 2000. We cannot continue to spend more than we make. We cannot continue to strap debt on my children, your children, and your grandchildren's backs. We cannot continue to elect the same people over and over and expect to get a different result. If we don't turn this state around, and if we don't turn this country around, you can say goodbye to that American dream that we all had hope in. That is why the Moffat Harmon team is a team that is not afraid to say stop spending money, stop bullying everybody, time to clean house, and it's time to get the job done. That is why we all appreciate your support and that you will call Phil Moffat the next governor of the state of Kentucky. Thank you.